Hello, this is Alex Golner, known as Alex4D on the internet, and this is a video to show how it's possible to combine plugins that you get from FX Factory um, to get different results. So it's mainly going to be showing you news graphics from Industrial Revolution with a little bit of um, my Alex4D animation transitions uh, at the end to show how those can be used to work with other plugins. So here we are on the site for Industrial Revolution, um, industrialrevolution.com, and um, here we are at looking at the plugins called News Graphics. And it shows that we've got titles, lower thirds, transitions, and also effects all combined together to allow you to simulate uh, news broadcasts of video, or actually to do new bro news broadcasts in your videos if that's what you like. So if we look at the page, we can scroll down and see that it's possible, if you want to try this out, to download the free trial version, which works exactly as it would normally, but there's watermarks on top, so you can see if it works for you. And then you pay $49, um, and you can take the watermarks off and use it instantly, even with timelines time you've already worked on. So you can see what it does here, and you can see this 4K video, which is a demo of all it can do. But the interesting thing about this 4K demo, if we scroll down here, it is possible to use a pro get the actual project was used to make the promo video. It doesn't include all the videos in there; it just uses placeholders. But the advantage is, is we click download the news graphics demo, and then here it is. And download the actual library and then we can run that Final Cut Pro. So I'm going to double click that and it takes me straight into Final Cut Pro because it's already there and then we can see what the demo video looks like. I'm just going to close this. What the demo video looks like, Shift Z, um, to, as a demo. So it shows instead of the video that was supplied a placeholder showing a background graphic and then showing a transition with a um, ticker but then it's possible to have a newsreader and show how it is possible to make another piece of video appear behind them as, as they talk about it and also show two people talking to each other on a two up so in order to try this out it is possible for you to use your own footage in all these places so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to another project which I had open here and I've got various bits of footage and I, it is possible for me to replace one bit of footage with another. So what I'm going to do is replace this footage here, option X, and I'm going to include footage of Matt and I'm going to make him the newsreader. So here's the newsreader on this layer which is currently a still and what I'm going to do is drag Matt on top of this clip here and choose replace from start. Now it's warning me that I'm using video from a different library and of course now that video is going to be included in this library. So now when I do play, Matt's included. And what I can do of course is that as this is a title, I can double click the text and change it to Matt Davis to try that out. And of course I can choose any typeface I like. I can even not use a capital letter for A, the A in Davis. Let's see. And then I've got also this, which is a placeholder. And what I can do at the moment, that's one of the Final Cut Pro 10 placeholders, which is just a still image. And what I want to do is replace that with another piece of video. But if I go to this placeholder, this piece of video here, it's got an effect on it. To show that it's got the effect on what it does, I'm going to disable the effect called Shrink Back. And it looks like what it does is it takes the image or piece of video and shrinks it back. And it looks like so it lines up on top of this area here. So what I'm going to do is step through what happens. I'm going to do press play. And it looks like the video is shrunk back and it's also positioned on top of this purple thing here or this colored area. So what I'm going to do before I replace this placeholder still with some video is I'm going to copy this effect. So go to the edit menu and choose copy. So now I've got this video, what I can do is find another piece of footage Let's say this, and I can drag this on here, and I'm going to choose replace from start, and I do that because I don't want this. I want to use the in and out point that was used in the original project. So I've now I've got my piece of video, and as you can see, it's full screen. But I can go to the edit menu and choose paste attributes, 
and I can get that shrink back effect that was applied earlier and paste it here. So now when I do paste, this comes on like this. So the question is, what is this stuff doing here? What is this? So what we've got here is a menu, this layer. So what I'm going to do is, um, I suppose I could solo this. I don't use solo very much. Um, no, that's only use for audio. It'd be nice to have solo for video, I think. That would be pretty cool. So what I'm going to do is do clip skimming so I can just see the clip only, that, that layer. So what this does, this menu is a title, is it moves on from the side. So what I can do with this title is I can double click the text if I like and change it. So I'm going to change it to shopping area in London near Renoir Cinema. So now I've actually labeled this thing. It's coming in nicely. So I can try this out. Now it is possible for me also to um, have a look at what this shrink back effect does. So say for example, I had, let's say this footage from Matt was actually not, he wasn't on the left hand side, but he was on the right hand side. So in order to do that very quickly, because I'm a lazy sod and don't want to apply a flop to this, is I just double click this X value and change the horizontal scale to minus 100. And now the question is, how do I change the settings of where this video shrinks appears? So what I can do with this is say, well, I want the menu to come in from the left and move and, and go to the left. So what I'm going to go is go to menu and go to title. And I want it to, I want it to come instead of being on the right hand side as it is at the moment, I want it to be on the left hand side. So now when I do play, slides in from the left and also I want to do the same make the same settings change to the video effect which has been applied to this layer so I want it to start off from um, off the edge off the edge of the left hand side and I want it to move so it's on the left hand side so I've got a start position end position so I can do this and it comes in from that side and as you can see because these two things, what I'm going to do is scale this up. As these two clips, the video clip and the title, have exactly the same duration, then their animations line up perfectly. They even decelerate a little as they leave, as they arrive and, the, and leave. So this is an example of how a an effect which is applied to a video layer and a title can be seen to animate together and to be in sync. So I'm just going to move further on. And also, as you can see, uh, pieces of videos can move from one place to another, and you can have a two-up between two people, starting off with two separate people like this. So what I can do in this case, uh, I seem to have a person on this side. I'll pick somebody else to be in shot. Let's see who I've got here. I do have my friend Barry, or Matt. Depends on how you look at it. So I'm going to drag this on here. And again, I'm going to choose Replace from Start. It's warning me the video footage is coming from a different library. Um, and of course, what I did do again is I forgot to copy the effect. So I'm going to undo that Replace from Start. And I'm going to copy it. So which is copying this shrink back effect. So copy. Then I'll drag uh, this clip on there again. Replace from Start. And then I'm going to do, um, again, paste attributes. And the same effects as before. So now I've got this. And it looks like this Newsreader 2, as you can see, is, is actually, the, it would be matte on the wrong side. So of course I've moved it over, which means it doesn't quite work the way it would have done. So what I'm going to do is get um, my, f yes. I'm going to get Richard Vidala here and make him a newsreader number two, although he doesn't look much like a newsreader. Oh, I've got to copy the effect. So I'm going to copy this effect. Copy, because it's got a shrink back on it as well, because the video moves back into place. And I'm going to drag this on here. Oops, it's wanting to uh, insert 
So I'm going to do insert from start. Warning the video is coming from a different library. Edit, paste attributes. Shrink back, paste. This shows how you can replace one piece of footage with another and try things out inside uh, the demo project, which comes with um, XFX. But what I'd like to show you as well, it is possible to not necessarily use the animations that come with XFX, but use your own. And I'm going to use uh, my plugins as an example of that. So at the moment, we've got this um, the background menu, which has got the tech shopping area in, in Renoir Cinema, and also near Renoir coming in at the same time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of my own effects at this stage. I'm just going to, yeah, going to do this and move this out of the way because I don't want these two things to become the same storyline, which they may do. So I'm going to bring on my transitions to change the way this transitions on because at the moment, of course, this transitions on and moves animates on. So the first thing I need to do is stop this menu animating on um, because my animation, its, it's animation will kind of uh, mess with them each other. So I'm going to turn off build in and build out for this so that the, now the menu just appears like this. And also with this effect, which uh, shrinks the video back or slides it on in this case, I'm going to make it so it doesn't animate on because I'm going to be animating the this myself. So at the moment, I've changed this so that uh, when we go to this, these are, haven't animated on. I've turned the animation off that uh, comes with the XFX plugins, and I'm going to add some of my own. So what I can do is have a look at these and see what these do. Well, these kind of this one skids on. So what I'm going to do, although this is a bit much for a news broadcast, I'm going to uh, double uh, with the video selected. I'm going to double click the transition. And what that does is it turns the video clip into its own storyline. And now if I do play, it kind of animates on. So what I'm going to do is make this a little bit longer. And also I'm going to make it so that instead of animating that to that part of the frame, it's animating to this part of the frame. And this is the video. So now when I do this and step through, So I can also, I'll delete this other one at the end because I want it to animate off and I'll option drag to make it so that same transition happens at the end. But I'm going to make it a little bit shorter and change it to an out transition. So now if I step through this, it kind of skids off that way. So what I'm going to do is maybe change it so that it doesn't move in the opposite direction. So now it goes back the way it came. So I've customized this uh, here. So what I want to do the same with this piece of video. So I can copy and paste these things. So first I need to do is turn this into a storyline. Create storyline. So I control click to get to storyline. And then if I option drag this clip down, this transition down here and option drag this one, now the background menu will animate the same way. So now it'll look like this. If I step through, little bit much for a news broadcast but also maybe it's the kind of an emission you might want to do. So what I'm going to do is close this uh, transitions palette, zoom out a little bit and I'm going to render just this little bit so I'm going to use Control R on the keyboard which is the pirates transition. Interesting psychedelic effect here. And I'm going to turn off clip skimming because it's a little bit distracting while this happens. It's combining um, the news, uh, XFX uh, news graphics with Alex Ford the animation transition, so it's doing a lot at the same time. And now when I do play, it looks like this. So that's an example of how you can combine plugins. The trick, of course, in each case is to make sure that they don't mess with each other. In other words, with this plugin, we had to turn off the animation that it did itself so I could add the transitions on top, which uh, add the extra animation on top. So that's an example of um, Alex 4D um, animation transitions working with um, Industrial Revolution's XFX news graphics. So check out um, the wonderful tools that are available in FX Factory and I was using news graphics combined with uh, my Alex4D plugins. 
Thanks very much, and uh, see you on the next one.